If you have to complete forms with data from the same list over and over again, I'm going to show you how you can save time with our list maker tool that you can download at pdfautomationstation.com. Maybe your financial advisor that has to constantly fill in mutual fund names and codes. Or maybe in your business it's auto parts and part numbers. Or any kind of product with a corresponding number and code. This tool will save you time and you can build and customize your own list in Excel and then save it into Reader or Acrobat. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I mean here. Here's an Excel spreadsheet that has two columns. The first one, the first column is always the name or the description. So in this case, it's a list of mutual funds. And the second column is always that corresponding code or number. So in this case, it's the corresponding fund code. All you do is highlight all of those entries and then you press Control C to copy that. Go over to Acrobat or Reader and you'll see this custom toolbar button. When I click that, there's two options. First one is to create or modify the list and the second one is to select from the list. So this second one is, is populating that form. But first you have to create the list and I don't have one now so I'll click this and then it tells me right there to press Control V so I'm going to paste that data from Excel. I'll click Save List. That list is now saved whether I close Acrobat or Reader or whether I shut down my computer and restart it. I'll always have that list going forward. And if I want to modify it, I'll just modify it in Excel and paste the entire list back in here and then save it. So let's populate some fields here. The name or description, you always enter one pipe like that so you can mark that field. And you put in two pipes for the, the number or the code. And once you do that, you just go back to the button, click Select from List, and you'll see all those entries from Excel that we just pasted. I'll go ahead and choose one here. I'll click Enter, and you see the two fields populate. Let me just show you that again. Two pipes for the number, one pipe for the name or description, and then select from list. Let's choose a different one here, and click Enter, and you see it populate. Now I'm just going to change up my list so you can see how that works. So I'll open up a different Excel spreadsheet. And in this case, it looks like some kind of mechanical parts in the first column, and then the corresponding part number in the second column. This spreadsheet has 45 entries, but you could have a thousand. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'll go back to Acrobat. I'll click my toolbar button. I'll click create or modify list and remember it's just going to overwrite whatever was there before. So I'll press control V to paste that. I'll press save list and now I'm going to put in my two pipes for the number or part number and one pipe for the part uh, description or name. So let's click select from list. Now you're going to see a totally different list that we just pasted from Excel. And I'll just pick, I'll pick a part right here, choose a part, and click Enter. And you see the, the part code populated there and the description there. You can actually populate any two fields as long as you mark them correctly. So let's do that now. I'll show you this one more time. One pipe for the name and two for the, the uh, code. Or part number. Select from list and let's do this one. Enter. There's my name or description. There's my code and that's all there is to it. Um, you can get this tool yourself. Just go to pdfautomationstation.com and start saving time when you populate fillable forms from a list. Thanks for watching.